hello guys welcome back i'm going to start a new series and this series i'm going to show how to work with stm32 with c++ programming and i have already created a project and set up a uart but do not be worried i will explain all of them in the next video and before we start programming the peripherals such as uart spi gpios and you should be understanding some uh, concept in C++ if you have already uh, know the C++ language good for you if you don't I will teach you uh, what you need okay the first thing you should know is the class in order to create the class you should write the class first I want to create the LED class Uh, all right and class is a blueprint or template for creating objects an object is an instance of class okay uh, class has my ld class has uh, several attributes attributes or prop my properties uh, for example, diameter, current, voltage. These are my LED class attributes or properties. And all the classes has a three access specifiers. It could be public could be or take that uh, or private if you use uh, public uh, all these attributes can be used within the class and outside the class for example in a while or in the main if you use it uh, protected it can be used within the class and within the uh, subclasses we call them derived classes if you use a private it can only use within the class you cannot use it in the main or while since we are go going to use these attributes in my while or and main i make him public all right now my attributes can be used outside the class and not only can you use um, attributes in your class you can also use a function for example power this is my function and in this function i'm going to multiply these two parameters and the result would be return so whenever I use this function and these two attributes will multiply and the result comes back all right and let's get to the object we have understand the class and the specifiers attributes and the function uh, okay about the object in order to create an object you should first uh, provide the name of the class which is LED as we did here then the name of the object for example uh, green and you can also use uh, several objects for example red blue etc I just want uh, one object here so I just write green it is my green LED okay I have created an uh, object now I want to give them value I say my green LED control space for example current the value would be 2 then my green LED is voltage
and I want it to be 3.3 all right now I give the a green LED which is an object value I give it a uh, several value you can give it a, a diameter or etc all right now I want to use the function and print it not be worried about the printf, I will explain it in the UART video. Here, the power of green LED is green dot power. Uh, okay here I call the function and it will uh, give me the multiplication of these two and let's build it to see if we have any problem or not if we have no errors no warning let's load it on the board and meanwhile let's go to Twitter to see if we have any message or not let me reset the board as you can see the power of the unit is 6.6 .6, which means my function is working perfectly and my object and the class was created successfully and let me explain the class and object once more here we created a class the name of the class we specified as a public because i'm going to use it in outside the class so it should be public uh, i provide several attributes for my led class one of them is diameter current and voltage here i create a function the function will multiply these two numbers and return it to the power. All right. In our main, I create the object for my LED class, and then I gave it a two and three point three as a current and voltage. Then I call the function, which is two multiplied by three point three. And all right, this is the object and class, but there is another function and there's another concept actually Which you should know Which is a pointer. For example LED or class I want to create a pointer And I wanted to point it to and green and I point my pointer to the location of or address of green this should be green and when you use pointer we don't have to use the green anymore now we use point and pt green and that's it let's build it Here, instead of using the main object, I create a pointer and use the pointer to point to the object. In our C++, we need pointer for pointing to different kind of thing. So you should be able to understand the concept very well. And let's load it. Go to Twitter. As you can see, it's working with a pointer as well.
Uh, so, so far you have understand three concept. One of them is a class, how to create it, how to provide attributes or properties for it. Then create a function in a class. Then the second concept is to create the object and provide the object and provide the value for your object. Then the last concept is to is a, and create a pointer and point it to the object. And that's it. In the next video, I will show you how to create a LED class and enable the LED. Thank you for watching. Bye.